Deep in the valley of the green giant, there's a treasure trove, a library that holds the seeds of some 15,000 varieties of corn from the past 80 years. There's this, sort of this tendency to think that the vegetables that we see today are, are what we've always eaten and, and the heirloom varieties have always been out there and they've always been great. Um, it, it, it really isn't the case. Corn, in fact, did not exist until about 10,000 years ago. There's a primitive crop called teosinte that has about six kernels on it that was sort of the precursor to corn. Today's corn is the result of scientists continually selecting and breeding desirable traits through conventional methods into the next generation. Seed production is a real challenging science and a bit of an art. Really this sort of this infinite genetic variability that we're working with, it's really, really a complex thing. This work in traditional breeding continues today at Green Giant's Agricultural Research Center in the Minnesota River Valley. It's constantly developing that next better seed for farmers to plant around the world we will test thousands of varieties of sweet corn every year just to find the one or two new varieties that are going to be introduced the following year. Getting to that top one or two seeds takes at least three growing seasons to see how they perform. Each one must meet certain traits, like a sweeter taste for the consumer or a better yield for the farmer. That higher yield is needed to meet the growing demand for more food around the world, and it has other benefits. If we can produce more corn on less acres, that's better economics for the farmer. That also means it's less water use, it means it's less fertilizer use, it means it's less pesticide use. We produce twice as much corn today on an acre of land as we did 30 years ago. That accomplishment speaks to Green Giant's commitment throughout the decades to grow a better sweet corn in a sustainable way. Agricultural research is really all about the front end of everything. You know, we're working on the genetics and the egg practices that the farmer is ultimately going to use. So we're actually positioned before what most people think of as the starting point. A variety can't yield more than the yield potential of the seed that you plant. So it's this quiet thing that we do on the very front end, but it's really what a lot of Green Giant is about today.